Hi everyone, it's Weiron here. Welcome to 7 Day MCO Bootcamp Challenge. Today is day one. We're going to be starting at the very bottom and slowly building up our intensity throughout the next seven days. So all you have to do is just follow me and I'll guide you through every single exercise, everything that we're going to be doing for the next seven days. So today is going to be a 15 minute workout, 30 second work, 30 second rest. So let's get started. So first up, we're going to be doing some running on the spot. So just putting up those knees, you don't have to go all the way up, you don't have to go 90 degrees, high knees all the way, just running on the spot, low intensity, just keeping it real. We've got eight seconds left on the clock. Nothing too intense, just to get the body warmed up. And rest. That wasn't too hard, was it? So the next one we are going to be doing are squats, easy squats. Just squat all the way down, put your weight on the back heel. So 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, nothing too intense, but we're going to be starting lower intensity and then slowly building up the intensity throughout these next seven days. So here we go, 30 seconds on the clock. Squeeze those glutes. Keep those core tight. And if you can, just do it at your own pace. Again, it's not about how fast you can go. And time. All right, next one, uh, lunges. We're gonna be doing front lunges this time. So right first and then left. And we're just going to be repeating that for 30 seconds. So you want to keep your body upright. You don't want to be bending forward on the lunge. Keeping your back and body ups upright whilst performing the lunge. Just like this. So 30 seconds on the clock. Remember to breathe through your nose. And now with the mouth. Almost done. Good, at rest. So next up we've got shoulder taps. You wanna get into a high plank position and all we're gonna do is just tap the shoulders. So what we're going to do is just tap the shoulders. Legs about shoulder width apart. Nothing too crazy. And you're going to be using your core to balance yourself. And 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Just tapping the shoulders. You don't, let's try not to sway our body this way. Keeping our core nice and tight not moving the hips and that's all we're going to be doing just tapping the shoulders you're working the whole body just by doing such a simple movement and done all right next one we've got frog jumps so again we're going to go back into the same position and what we're going to do is, in this high plank position, we're just going to jump forward, squatting like a frog, and back. Jump into a squatting position, and back. So here we go. Squatting position, back. And if you can do this faster than me, by all means, I'm just keeping a nice pace here. And back. And make sure when you squat, make sure that you're all the way to the bottom and jump back out. These are really good hip openers, openers. And out. 
All right, so next up we've got push-ups. So again, push-ups, very simple. If you can't do it on, on your toes, just go on the knees and press to the floor. That's all. But if you can, stay with me. We're gonna be doing the full body push-up. All right, here we go. Let's go, 30 seconds. Keeping good form, good technique. We're halfway there. And rest. All right, great job, guys. So, this is going to be a full body workout. Not too intense, 30 seconds work, and you've got plenty of time to rest. Next up, we've got star jumps. Very simple. You can do it at your own pace. If your knees are hurting, or if you can't really do a jump, you can do a tap out. If that, if that is much, if that works for you. For those who can follow with me, let's go. Do a full star jump. In this simple exercise, working the full body, the legs, your shoulders, the core, and rest. All right, so next up we've got sit-ups, legs raised. And what that is essentially is we're gonna lie down on the floor, raising our leg to a 90 degree position and crunch. That's a sit up in a legs raised position. When you crunch, you want to feel the full contraction of the, of the abs, of the core, and back down to the floor. Up, let's go 30 seconds on the clock. Breathe in as you go down, and breathe out. In, out and squeeze the core, squeeze those abs. Come on guys, uh, we're almost there. Five seconds left, you're doing really well. And rest. So next, uh, plank bites. All right, so here we go. Plank bites, we're gonna go into a plank position, elbows to the floor, body as straight as you can, and then we're just going to use our hips and pike all the way up as high as we can and back down. Pike all the way up and back down. That's a plank pike that'll work the full range of your core. 30 seconds, let's go. Pike all the way up and down. Down. Try and keep your legs as straight as you can and try to put your hips as far up to the sky as you can. And done. Right, quick rest before we jump into a half burpee. So we're not gonna do the full push up burpee. We're just gonna do a half burpee, which is essentially is you're gonna go down the floor Jump out, back up, stand up. Out, in, and stand up. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. Really good workout this is. But this is still a high intensity workout. You wanna try and just push yourself as hard as you can. It's only a 30 second work each time. And we really want to maximize the time that we are exercising. All right, 
If not, you're better off just going out for a run. High intensity interval training, getting the, mat, the most out of your workout in the shortest time. All right, 15 seconds left to rest before we go with inchworm. So inchworm, another great one. You're gonna bend down to the floor, walk out, and stand back up. Working the shoulders, the cores. Let's go. Stand up, walk it out, walk back in, and up. Walk it out, walk back in, and up. We're more than halfway there. Come on, keep it going. You're doing extremely well. All right, 30 seconds rest. We're more than halfway there. We've only got a couple of exercises left. Uh, next up, we're gonna be doing glute bridges. So again, we're gonna go back down to the floor. Hands either beside you. And we're gonna be pulsing in this position, thrusting all the way up. Good work for the glutes, great for your core. And try and maximize that squeeze right at the end. Really good for the glutes. That's it, and rest. Whew. Okay, next up, mountain climbers. Do this at your own pace. There's no need to go fast or running on the floor. Normal pace, or take it slow, if this works better for you. You know your body best, you know your limit best. Don't worry, this is only day one. We've got six days to go. So we'll slowly build it up. Let's go. Mountain climbers, 30 seconds. Just keep pushing. You know your limit. And if you want to get better, get faster, get stronger, you got to push past your limit. We're almost done. Oh, that was great. Okay, so next up, we're almost done guys. Uh, sumo squats, and we're gonna be doing pulses. So, sumo squat, like a sumo wrestler, legs wide apart, you're gonna squat down as low as you can, and we're just gonna pulse. We're just gonna pulse here. And we'll try and hold that for 30 seconds. So stay with me. Let's go. That's it. Just keep on doing that. This is probably my least favorite one of today's workout. But you know what? We're almost at the finish line. There's only one exercise left after this. So we're gonna keep pushing. Sweat it out. So five seconds left. Ah, oh, and done. See, that wasn't too hard. And we're moving on to our last exercise, reverse crunches. We're gonna go back down on the floor. Legs, you wanna keep your hands to your side, keep your back flat to the floor. Knees, keep them in this same position. And all you're gonna do, point your toes, drive them up. Drive your knees up to your chest as far as you can whilst keeping your back on the floor. And these are really great for the lower part of your abdominal. So let's go, come on. We've got just about 15 seconds on the clock. Stay with me. We're only at day one. That's it, come on guys, and done. Woo! 
All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. Uh, tomorrow, join me for day two. We're just gonna increase the intensity just a little bit and a little bit by little bit, all the way until day seven of this MCO, MCO sorry, excuse me, MCO boot camp. And hope to see you at the next one. So make sure you drink a lot of water, eat good food, and rest well. See you tomorrow.